Hey everyone, Jeff Ford here for you, back talking about shapes, positions, and how this all translates over to your sport. Um, what we're going to talk about today is finding stability in the knee and the ankle. And this is, shows up a lot in the gym, so we'll use the uh, back squat example again. So I'll just show you the, the setup. Last week we really hammered how position is everything, so uh, just getting those shoulders in the proper position to get the setup is huge. Um, the second piece here is, we hear this all the time when folks squat, is drive those knees out, keep the knees out, don't let that knee dive in. A lot of the times we'll even see athletes really turn the feet out, and then sometimes we'll see the ankle collapse when they squat. These two things are a problem because we're not developing stability uh, in two of the joints that really truly matter, especially for running, um, biking, any, any sport that you choose, it's going to require stability of both those joints. So when I get set up, you'll see in the back squat, obviously I get the uh, posture, everything glued down. I'm going to show you what we want to see with that, is that the knees drive out and that the ankles don't collapse. So I'm nice and tight. and then right back up, okay? You can see immediately everything draws out, we press the feet down and that arch tends to be an actual foot and doesn't collapse. So what we will see a lot of time though is we get that tight, even that tight setup, and then this drive in, okay? Those two things show up all too often. And by knowing that stability um, of the knee and the ankle is crucial, especially in running, when the foot hits the ground, it shouldn't slap inside and pronate down. That's just a sign of we're not having um, stability in that lower part. And then also, if, if we're gonna slap down from the ankle, that's only gonna lead to that knee diving in. So runner's knee, Achilles tendonitis, these injuries that are termed overuse injuries are really just stability of your joints and making sure that you're able to be in that proper shape on the landing. That's the most difficult thing we see with runners is the landing mechanics and stability of the knee. That's how it shows up with the back squat in the gym.